uh, and Layer Cake, one of my favorites that we saw. Map where you can leverage that long range damage from Tick. We see him often uh, set up in one of the lanes to try to push back against an opponent, but not gonna happen this time. In fact, they're both going for bruiser comps. We've got uh, Rosa and BB up on top for blue supported with that Slambion's healer Poco in the back. And then on the bottom for B4 Esports, they are running Bow, in fact, uh, using that totem to try to keep topped off, but are gonna rely instead on Penny's uh, mortar damage to try to get those cannon shots in uh, and force back blue up top. Yeah, Slamlin's comp again from Blue. And I gotta say, I really like it. It's different, it's daring, and, uh, you know, there's not really much that uh, Penny can do when you've got a, a Rosa, like, going to charging towards them. So um, uh, the, the BB pick for me is also good. I, I think that that's uh, something that we're seeing more frequently now on Lair Cake, uh, using BB lane and going more on the aggressive. So um, yeah, I I've got to say, an interesting choice of, of comp from here, uh, from Blue, that we're seeing. All right, well, it's going to be an advantage for Blue starting off. They got the star right there from the middle. No kills yet from either team, but you do see two uh, of those totems dropped by Tufa now been eliminated. That's really going to take a toll for B4 Esports as we move into the later stage of this game. They need some way to push back into Blue, uh, and they haven't found it quite yet, even with uh, that, those supers being charged up. Yeah, Edin Ho did just get his super. He's gonna pretty good, yeah, put that down now, which is a wise decision to, to continue this kind of uh, area control, which uh, before esports, to be fair to them, are doing very well. They've got uh, Blue in a, in a good spot. However, if you look on these side lanes, Emmerich and, uh, and Felipe, they're just kind of waiting in lurk because they have got the HP to their advantage. They can go on a push on a counter push to force uh, back before esports, but they're choosing to wait, but they have to make a play now because time is ticking down. Adino very low on the left-hand side. He might down here he does go down wow what a play and we're moving to the last final seconds blue on defense are holding off but a killer hit from b4 esports will turn it around the bounce of the bubble gum is good b4 esports claims that fire have gone for your favorite tick is going to be dropping bombs this time around. Tufa is going to be playing Piper, so we're going to get even more of that heavy damage output uh, early on here. Looks like Emmerich is getting trapped over there on the left side. A chance for an early kill. Adino grabs it. That's going to be a lead for B4 Esports. Couldn't get the star in the center, uh, but that kill is worth even more. Yeah, Tick is going to be a, a real nuisance here for Blue, I feel. And as long as Adino can hold his lane and uh, using the cover really well there, like we see in, uh, you know, forcing back Emmerich, it's going to be really hard for Emmerich to really do much with that gene pick. Um, yet, you know, he can get a couple of shots off, but, you know, Emmerich really wants to earn his super to be able to put himself into a more aggressive spot. And uh, Adino is going to be shutting that down really well. He might even go down here on this left-hand side if the pinch is correct. The gadget to try to stay alive from Emmerich it is just enough to stay alive. Wow, great place from him. Yeah, another kill now from Beto gives B4 Esports a three-star advantage. Uh, even if they're able to get a kill on Tufa, that would not be enough for Blue Esports to catch up. So they are really in a tough spot here, needing to charge up those supers. Filipino is, is, is really the, the guy who's got to get Blue turned around here. We need a super setup uh, from Penny in order to apply any more pressure, but not going to happen. A return fire from Tufa gets another kill, and B4 Esports is on fire. Three kills to zero deaths. Great slice from Tufa. Uh, yeah, Filipino needs to really get his turret down. He needs to earn his super. That's really the only thing that's going to force Adino out of that hole there. Um, without that turret, uh, you know, it's going to be really difficult for Blue to do much here with like 20 seconds left. Uh, they, they've got to get their supers and they've got to get them now. It seems very difficult to put that sort of push together at this point. Blue are struggling to make their way back into this map. They are finally making their way onto Beto over on the right side. Emmerich takes a few shots and then backs off. We get a kill there from Duncan taking one down, but B4 Esports get the return fire. Another shot after Duncan gets the store score up to seven, but not enough to contest. B4 Esports, the winners with an 8-7 score.